Leonel Eschleman is managing partner at Mirabeau and Company. He's also in charge of asset management. He's joined us here at Invest 13 to discuss asset management in Switzerland. Lionel, welcome to Invest. I'm not saying Thank welcome you very to Geneva. Much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. The first question is, why is Switzerland so behind, uh, say, London, Ireland or Luxembourg in terms of asset management? Well, uh, f first of all, if you allow me, I think that while talking about asset management, we should probably distinguish between uh, the products, the wrappers themselves, and the domicile of the investment teams or the investment brains. So, in, uh, in Europe today, most funds uh, that have a cross-border bias, that are commercialized on a cross-border basis, are domiciled in Luxembourg or, to a certain extent, in Dublin. Uh, domestic funds, uh, which are uh, sold to the domestic markets, uh, are very much still uh, locally uh, uh, located. French funds sold to French investors, Spanish funds to Spanish investors, uh, German funds to German investors. Switzerland has no access to the EU passport, and although its funds comply with the UCS framework, they do not have the EU passport. Therefore, most asset managers, like Mirabo itself, has today set up uh, its all, all its funds in Luxembourg. Now, when we talk about the uh, asset management, the investment management uh, competencies, they can be located anywhere. Uh, taking the example of Mihabo, which is not extraordinarily different from other asset managers, I have my investment teams located either in Switzerland or in London. So we see that the location of the investment teams and of the products are two different issues. Now, taking a broader perspective, uh, it is true that uh, in terms of perception, uh, Switzerland is perceived today to be uh, to have a delay in terms of uh, positioning of asset management. This is probably due to the fact that private banking uh, has had such a powerful uh, success, uh, is such a leading uh, global role, uh, uh, that it has somewhat put us, somehow put asset management in a second uh, row, second stage. In the universal banking system that we have in Switzerland, uh, the forefront has always been private banking, wealth management, and as asset management has been somehow considered as ancillary or secondary to wealth management. I believe this is about to change uh, the awareness uh, that asset management is indeed uh, a different business a separate business uh, that needs different skills, different resources, different organization is uh, very much... Uh, okay, so what would it take exactly for Switzerland to position itself properly as, as, as an asset management center? Is it more a regulatory issue? Is it more a mentality issue? Uh, where, what does... What is it that Switzerland needs to address most? So first of all, I think that we need to uh, s separate uh, asset management in a better way from wealth, bank, uh, wealth management as uh, has been the case in the past. So I don't think we should move away from private banking, but we should really add asset management as a separate uh, business per se and uh, promote uh, asset management as a separate brand, uh, as a strong brand, uh, and take uh, the due care and consideration, give it the due care and consideration that it deserves. Uh, what should we do to, uh, to achieve that goal? Well, I believe we can leverage on many of the qualities which have actually underpinned the success of uh, private banking in Switzerland, uh, the quality of the people, of the quality of the operations, the very international bias that you can find in Switzerland, uh, the uh, level of education uh, and uh, the broader views and competencies that exist here in Switzerland. Uh, there is an, ele an element on which we have to work harder, it's performance. In wealth management, the most important aspect is relationship and trust. In asset management, performance is of the essence and the culture of performance in Switzerland can be improved and should be improved, I believe. And where would Switzerland be best positioned in the value chain? Would it be more production or distribution? Where can it build a space? Well, generally speaking, I believe that uh, Switzerland should 
position itself in a, in a way that it's consistent with its current image of excellence. If you look at the chocolate industry, luxury industry, pharmaceutical industry, we should occupy and continue to occupy the upper end of the market. I believe if we want to build a brand in asset management today, we should focus on uh, specialized solutions, on active management, uh, on more specialist products or solution-oriented products for high-end uh, institutional and uh, high net worth investors, mm -hmm. and not so much on ETFs or passive solutions or factory of volume business. Then Switzerland, with the size of its private banking, will remain an important center of fund distribution and mandate distribution, of course. At the end of the day, we should also probably not lose sight of the fact that Swiss players, and this is also the case of Mirabeau, have gone global a long time ago. And I'm not thinking about uh, the big players like UBS or Credit Suisse only, but if you look at a boutique like Mirabeau with 200 years history, we have today 50% of our st staff working uh, outside of Switzerland and located sitting outside of Switzerland. And I believe that's maybe the Swiss way, having Swiss values, Swiss quality, but being very global in its implementation. Leonette, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.